Welcome back to Level Grinding. I am Rachel Masterash Bogan. For those of you who have never been here before, my show is all about documenting and showing you what it looks like to build a business from the ground up. This is done because so many people who are out there teaching you how to build businesses are always showing you the process 10 years later. And because that's not exactly helpful, because they don't actually show what the up and downs are like, this is why I'm documenting my work from here on out so that you guys can see what's going along. You can follow along and you can be inspired as you are on your journey towards entrepreneurship, living the life that you want, achieving your goals, uh, you know, insert little thing here. Today is Tuesday. I am busy working on a few last minute things to finish up my project for the lawyers out in North Carolina. I've also been taking care of details, just trying to kind of clear the runway out in order to finish out the tasks that I have for this week. That includes the archive project that I need to get out the door and my meeting with the Denver 3D Print Company coming up tomorrow. Uh, but the thing that I most wanted to talk to you guys about is... My 12 week year, I have successfully not only completed week one, but I have also started on week blah, week two. Look at this, two weeks of the 12 week year. I am super excited because it has been a long road and long journey back to getting into my habits. Um, even with that is has been getting back into my morning ritual. I am, I am waking up really late these days. But um, you know what, just taking those steps every single day, building momentum, trying to get back onto the more efficient path to where I want to go. Um, in the process of clearing my runway, I was going through my Google Drive and was deleting a whole bunch of stuff today that I didn't need. And one of the things that I came across was one of my early vision statements for my life. Uh, you guys have seen the one that I keep inside my Midori. Um, and so you guys have seen what that refined version looks like. And so seeing this older version was kind of cool because I was able to spot the things that are the same, the consistent themes that have been in my life in the pursuit of my goals, and also recognizing that some of it I'm actually kind of doing, which is really, really neat um, to see that progress. Um, and especially in light of the fact that I feel like for the past few months, ever since the beginning of April, like my whole concentrated, let's focus on this effort has been uh, just kind of poof like up in the air mm. and uh, I actually had a really interesting thing happen uh, over lunch today um, because I have a bit of a slower day a slower week um, I've been taking advantage of the fact that there's some really fantastic documentaries on Netflix and so kind of this idea of feeding my mind while I'm feeding my body and the one that I just started today is all about intuition and about how um in modern society, we have focused so much on the rational mind, on the analytical mind, on the data, facts, and figures that we are losing this ability to intuitively understand our world. And the difference is experiencing the world through facts versus experiencing the world through your emotions. And when you experience the world slowly, solely through analytics, through facts, through figures, through quantifying data all the time, you lose touch with the emotional side. And when when you do that, you actually head towards a nervous breakdown, like your brain can't process information. Um, the last statement in the thing that I was just watching was from a woman who deals a lot with the brain and getting people back in touch with this intuitive sense to the world and how do we appreciate the world through all five senses that we have. And she made the comment that the rational brain only represents 2% of your brain matter, like less than two tablespoons of your brain is actually in that rational world and the rest of your brain is is giving information to that rational part of your brain. So if you live in this analytical world and the world that's inside your head trying to rationalize everything, trying to analyze, strategize, um, you're actually not working with 98% of your brain. Like the rest of your brain's working, but you're not taking information from it and not using that as a part of your daily life. And I was thinking about it while I was eating lunch and I realized I bet you that is probably part of the reason why I have been having such a hard time getting back into my 12 week year. I spent a year and a half very much dedicated to quantifying and analyzing my day, analyzing my productivity, analyzing uh, just how effective I was at getting stuff done. Now, there's nothing wrong with getting stuff done, except when you have that so much as a singular focus and you're not spending time resting like I wasn't doing. Um, I'm realizing I think that is why I've had such a hard time getting back into my 12 week year and why even some of the things that I have on this are kind of um, 
you know, they don't feel really significant. They don't feel like they're going to move stuff forward. Like, for example, one of the things that I don't have on here anymore are all the quantifiable dates of all the things that I have to do in terms of marketing for my business. And I have felt really bad about not having those on there, but instead I decided to switch it out for telling more stories uh, through video, very similar to the QWERTY video that I made a few months ago. And so I want to do something like that again and realizing that, you know what, the reason why this is on here is because I need to rest. Um, the annoying thing about my personality type uh, is that I literally have to schedule fun time into my day. Like that just sounds so <laughs> appallingly dumb that I have to literally schedule the time where I'm supposed to have fun and I'm not on any timetable. And so it's something I'm going to be thinking about a little bit more this week, um, especially as I finish out that documentary. Um, the name of it is called um, INSEI, I-N-N-S-I- SEI. I'll find it and put it in the, the description box below. Because um, so far, it's really, really interesting, especially as I know a lot of you have found me because of my passion for the 12 week year. Um, I find it a really interesting counterpoint to some of the struggles that I have been having getting back into my 12 week year. And so, um, yeah, I'm really happy about being back into my 12 week year and like starting week two and actually starting it and tracking stuff. Um, then I'm realizing I really need to pay attention to this rest factor. So, um, yeah, right now I'm going to get back into my day. One of the things that I need to do is have the fun of watching Kickstarter videos. Um, I want to do some time, take some time studying Kickstarter videos because that's what I'm going to talk about with Denver 3D Print Company tomorrow. And so I just want to get my head wrapped around, like, what are some of the cool ideas that people do? What are they working on? Um, you know, in my work and what I do every single day, I really get to see impact of what I do. Like, my videos are successful. Um, some of the fundraising videos that I've been a part of um, over the, you know, like, cumulatively over the past few years have raised well over a half a million dollars for local nonprofits. And that's really cool to be a part of. Um, the video set that I just did for Denver Rescue Mission, that big project that was taking up most of April and May, um, um, that one they took to the Association of General Rescue Missions, basically like the overarching group that kind of helps oversee uh, the best of the best and give general practices and guidelines, kind of like the Better Business Bureau a little bit. Um, but uh, they took that video series to that conference and showed everybody what they produced and said, hey, do you want this available for your training purposes? And 50 other organizations within the AGRM asked for a copy of that material. And so it's really cool knowing that the stuff that I make goes out and has impact. Um, but now that I'm going to be doing stuff for raising funds for startups, I want to just get some more time and understanding under my belt of what those things look like. So that's going to be a lot of fun because I get to watch other people's creative stuff and I get to take notes. So that is on my to-do list today and I better get right to it.